I am Stephanie Dupuy with Dupuy team at Keller Williams West Sound in Silverdale, Washington. Today, this message is for sellers. Sellers, do not be your own worst enemy. We are to dis we are going to discuss the three. My dog is visiting me right now. Um, three important items about today's market for sellers. Uh, what you need to know if you're selling your home and if you're thinking about selling your home, what to do, okay? Uh, what we're seeing in the market right now, sellers, is, is quite a bit of overpricing. Um, and that's what we mean with, in regards to sellers, don't be your own worst enemy. So the reason why we're saying that is, you know, six months ago, a year ago, sellers could get away with overpricing their home a little bit. and. Uh, the market has heated up since then, inventory's gotten lower, we have more buyers in, on, in the market, and so sellers are continuing, continuing to, to aggressively uh, overprice their homes. And, you know, we understand this, they're trying to maximize their price. If, if fair market value comes in here, you know, it's a, it's a very logical theory. Price it here because the market's going to come up and meet it. Price it here, market comes up and meet it, meets it, okay? Uh, and here's the news flash, it's not going to work. It's not working anymore, and here's why. Look at these statistics. This is what's new in the last month or so, all right? Uh, with our current market, and these are Kitsap County statistics, they're being reflected nationwide. So we're seeing this trend nationwide, and what happens nationwide eventually comes to Kitsap County. Um, we've been seeing trends of price reductions nationwide, and we've been seeing trends of longer days on market for homes nationwide. And in the last two to four weeks, we've been seeing this trend of price reductions and longer days on market for listings um, come to Kitsap County. So price reductions, this is simply the last two weeks, just because we don't want to write a long list here. But, you know, as of the, uh, mid June, June 11th, week of June 11th, so that's June 11th through June 24th, uh, we had 67 price reductions in Kitsap County, which is significant. You know, and, and normally we're in the single digits, just to give you uh, some perspective. So 67 versus we're normally under 10. This, the following week we had 89, uh, 89 price reductions um, uh, the following week. So this was the week of June 25th through um, July 3rd. CDOM means consecutive days on market. Those are the number of days that a listing is on market prior to going pending. Um, you know, I think we all remember you know, not too long ago, a listing went on the market and it just sold within a matter of hours to days. Uh, now we're seeing, you know, two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, average uh, days on market, six. A week later, nine. You see the trend? Okay, and this trend is repeated prior. As I said, we didn't, we didn't write these, these numbers down. Um, but the exponential curve, longer days on market, see what's happening here, okay? So we're seeing a significant increase in days on market, a significant increase in price reductions. And what does that tell you? Well, what that tells me is these are leading indicators. Where did my pen go? Well, let me just grab that here. So, uh, can you see that here? Let me just see if we can, hopefully you'll see this graph. If this is the, the curve of the market, we've been, we've been increasing in the market, market's going up. Buyers and sellers think we're here. They think the market's still going up. They know we're gonna to get to the top soon. And it's very possible that we're actually on the down part of the curve, possibly. We, you know, no one knows for certain. But if we're seeing longer days on market, we're seeing price reductions to this extent, you know, some possibilities for this are just that the sellers are so aggressive. I mean, we're seeing some crazy overpricing. We've, we've had listing meetings lately um, over the last month or two where sellers want to list upwards of $100,000 over fair market value. And, you know, unless you're in the million dollar price range, that's not within, um, it's not within reach. Uh, you know, I think we've all gone to go buy a new car or some other item, a microwave, and, and the price is just so um, out of whack, we just walk on by. And, and buyers with homes are the same way. They see that the price is, is, is 
out of out of proportion with reality so so they keep walking and when when, when sellers are are overpricing you know by five or ten thousand dollars it's within reach uh, however that's still scaring buyers right now because buyers understand that they need to make a full price offer if not fifteen twenty five thousand dollars above this price um, However, when, when sellers are pricing fifty to hundred thousand dollars over list price, it's uh, the house that's on market. So we're seeing that could be one reason why we're seeing a, quite a few price reductions. And when you see a significant amount of price reductions, you're also going to see longer days on market. So what do you do if you're a seller? First of all, if you're thinking of seller selling your home, stop waiting. You need to get moving. You're your opportunity, the window to sell and, and benefit from this market is closing. The gap is closing. You're about to lose your opportunity. Um, you know, no one has a crystal ball. You may have six to 18 months, 24 months max, but you may have a, a matter of months. So get, get on the ball, get going, sell, pull the trigger. Uh, price smartly. So if I'm selling a home right now, I'm not overpricing. I'm not going to play that game. Okay. Homes are sitting on market. Uh, the days on market are increasing. We have a record number of price reduction. That tells me I, I, you know, overpricing the home is going to give me more of this, more price reductions, more, more days on market. So when you're, when you're pricing a home, you have three, three strategies you can do. You can go for the needle in the haystack strategy. Okay, and that's where you, you know where fair market value is, and you price way above that, and you're aiming for that, you do all this marking, and you're hoping you get that one greater fool is going to pay way above fair market value, okay? The second strategy is you, you price right at fair market value, fair market, that's a V, fair market value, okay? And that's where you get the, the maximum audience combined with, with significant marketing. You get a lot of people drawn in and then you get fair offer, okay? And the third strategy is where you price just below fair market value. Now, why would you do that? And before you get upset about this one, hear it out. So. You price just below fair market value. What do you do when you see something that's below fair market value? What's, what's the first thing you think about? You think, oh, hey, that's a deal, right? We see it all the time. House goes on market, it's priced below fair market value, and we get 10 calls on that home. Everybody wants to go see it. Don't you want that to be your home, right? It creates a buzz. So imagine if you price it just below fair market value and you do all the marketing that attracts all the people and everybody sees it, then you have a huge buzz about it. You create an auction effect. Everybody's bidding and making offers. And what happens when you have this auction effect? Well, you have multiple offers and you will probably at least get fair market value and possibly that needle in the haystack price. Because when you have an auction effect, we all know that it's likely people are going to pay maximum value for your home. So these are the three pricing strategies we recommend. And we have found these two. Pricing at fair market value or just below fair market value to create an auction effect. The most effective in this market. Again, I'm Stephanie Dupuy. I'm with Dupuy team at Keller Williams West Sound, Silverdale, Washington. Phone number is 360-440-7237. Leave your questions and comments below. If you have found this valuable, please share it with a friend or on your Facebook page or other social media. All right, thank you.